Aries, it's Nicola. So this is your weekly read. This will be for August 31st through September the 6th. All right, so this is, let's read for you. This is, we're going to pull your blessings for the week. What blessings do we have for Aries? So I'm rising to Venus. This is for the week of, okay, that's too many. What blessings do we have for Aries? So I'm rising to Venus. This is for the week of August 31st through September the 6th. Okay. So we got Matt. Matsaya, Matsia. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm 100% sure. This is a fish avatar. So we're just going to read the blessings. The blessings you have are protection against natural disasters, security for seafarers and travelers, and persevering, I mean, persevering, <laughs> preserving ancient traditions and knowledge. Okay. So some of you guys could be um, fishing. Like if you like to fish, you could be going fishing. Ain't nothing wrong with fishing. I like fishing too. I ain't but fishing in a while. Could be going over some seas. Maybe you live by some water. Could be um, dealing with some sort of natural disaster. Maybe being protected from death. Okay. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Aries. Venus. This is for August 31st through September the 6th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August 31st. September the 1st, September the 2nd, September the 3rd, September the 4th, September the 5th, September the 6th, 2020. This is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. The message is guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 31st, September the 6th. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be making some decisions. Um, these popped out. You know, I'm going to read them. I'm going to read them. So some of you guys are taking action. Um, oh, that's, that's the right way. All right. So some of you guys are taking action. I feel like they're... There, there has been some blockages here, but I feel like you're changing your... So someone's changing their perspective. I feel like there has been some blockages. Someone is in the space of cutting away those blockages and moving forward. Would you looky there? So the underlying energy... What, look, look, look at God. Underlying energy, eight of wands. Somebody's moving forward. Somebody's moving forward. I'm going to wait and see what the rest of the cards are going to say. But somebody's moving forward, most definitely. Gonna, let's leave that underlying energy here. All right, so Monday, Seven of Swords here. Um, someone's being sneaky, okay? Most definitely being sneaky. Am I looking at... Okay, so this one was already turned up. Someone's being sneaky here. Um, I feel like someone is in a space of like walking away. Hmm. Escaping. I don't know if this, I'm going to be real with you. I don't know if it, it could be. Seven swords, three swords. That's ten swords embracing the end of a difficult situation. I feel like for some of you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This is ten swords. So I do feel like there's a difficult situation that's ending. Um, I do feel like for some of you guys, there is some type of deception. Um... I feel like someone is making the decision to leave some things behind. I feel like, I'm going to be real with you. I feel like the deception is more in regards to how something is done than what's actually being done. Nine of Cups here with the Tower. I feel like all of a sudden there's going to be some movement. Ace of Wands, most definitely a new opportunity. Um, Ace of Swords here. I'm trying to tell you. There's some new energy here for a lot of you guys. I feel like you're moving into a new partnership, but I, I must tell you, based off these first couple of cards, there's a situation that's going to be healed. Now, someone may not be all the way honest about how something is being done, okay? Someone's making a decision to move forward. Someone's escaping a situation. I do feel like um, with this Three of Swords, there could be some sorrow associated with this. I don't know if the sorrow is coming from you. Because um, I do feel like there's something growing. Or come, I don't, I don't, let's, let's just fucking clarify. So I can just quit talking over myself. Let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. 
I feel like there's an end to a difficult situation because even Ten Swords going to the Ace of Swords, there's a new beginning here. Six Swords, someone's moving forward. Swiftly, there's a swift movement forward. Two, two aces, two action-oriented aces. So someone is most definitely taking some action here. The, when you get the wands and the swords, these are action-oriented cards. They're in the shape of a fucking phallus. So these are masculine cards. This means that someone is in the space of creating and speaking or bringing some sort of new energy to you. Or this is a new opportunity that you're taking action on. So Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? We have Ten of Cups here. I'm telling you, somebody's escaping. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Ten Cups, Seven Cups. Yeah, Devil. So I feel like there's some confusion. Someone's making a decision. Um... King of Swords under here. Okay. Okay. Someone's making a decision. Could be Capricorn energy. Um, seven. The King of Swords is Gemini energy, but it could be just someone making a decision. Um, I feel like someone's being sneaky because there could be There could be another party here, someone that is under the impression that they're happy. The only reason why I say that seven cups, seven minus ten, ten is a family, seven minus ten is three cups. So someone, devil is toxic, codependent, karmic. So someone could be escaping a karmic situation that was an illusion now, the person that they're escaping could, because this person could just literally be escaping. Five swords, I mean, five wands under here with the full energy. Someone could legit be escaping. Um, King of Swords is not, he's a talker. He speaks truth. He sets boundaries, but there are some illusions around the thoughts. So again, there could be some deception. Someone could be not speaking the whole truth, okay? I feel like someone's taking a leap of faith. They've had some conflicts. I feel like I'm going to be real with you. I feel like someone is taking a leap. Like this may be a person that's just afraid to really speak what needs to be spoken. So they're just going to do it like by any means necessary. So if it means that they got to lie to get out of a situation in order to go toward what they want, someone's going to do that. Okay. So we have the three of swords here. Yeah, so I feel like there's a severance to some plans, Knight of Swords, so someone's moving forward. Ace of Pentacles toward a new opportunity. Nine ones here. Someone's finding the strength to someone's finding the strength to sever a, a situation. I don't know if this is happening to you because I'm gonna be real with you. You got nine cups here, tower, six swords. So you may decide to allow your concerns to fade away and move forward towards something new. You may decide to take action. But seeing that I'm getting these king of swords, I feel like someone else is deciding this. Okay. But you most definitely could be. This could be you. So we have the Nine of Cups here. Why is this Nine of Cups here? All right. So we have Emperor, Empress. Yeah. So someone's allowing the, their concerns to fade away because whatever this was that they were involved in was a blockage to them being balanced within themselves or moving toward their divine match. Emperor, Empress. This has been coming out a lot. Okay, um, Emperor is you, Empress Taurus, Libra energy here, Page of Swords, delays to happiness, manifesting happiness, manifesting true abundance. So I feel like someone is seeing the truth that they may have been manifest, they may have been delaying their own happiness. So I feel like all of a sudden something's going to shift. It's like a light switch goes off. Why is this tower here? What's up with this tower? I feel like this is a significant shift this week. Why is this tower here? Why is this tower here? Why is this tower here? Whoa. All right. So now the swords in reverse. I feel like the, the tower, what's being released is the anxiety. Page of Pentacles here, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups. I feel like for, for a lot of you guys, someone was lying because, wow, someone's escaping. Now, someone could have been lying because they, they had some regrets around the situation um a lot of anxiety but i feel like if someone was lying that is being released even tower under here again what is this we got high priestess 
Ace of Wands, Four of Cups. So someone knows that they have an opportunity in order to create what they would feel is perfect love or emotion for themselves. But they also know that they're unhappy. So that's why someone is releasing this situation. Look at that. Ace of Cups. That's three aces. That's three. And if I'm not mistaken, that's four aces. Yeah. Four aces. On your read. So you're most definitely... <laughs> Got a new opportunity, really a whole new, whole new world uh, out of nowhere. Like, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Just so y'all see. Y'all got every ace in the deck coming with this tower. So this significant shift is legit putting you into a whole new existence. Okay? Congratulations. I guess. Six swords here moving forward. So if you're ready to move forward, you're about to. Um, I feel like this is going to happen out of nowhere. Why is this Six of Swords here? Yep, Six Pentacles here. Six Swords. Shit me. Three Sixes here. Nine Cups moving toward happiness, balance, and abundance. You're moving toward a partnership that is going to bring you... This is life partnership when you're talking about relationships. Some of you guys are moving toward a life partnership now. I'm not sure if this is happening right now, but the shift that's happening is putting you in this... In this... In the alignment for... Everybody's on different you know, time paths. Some of you guys, this is happening now. For others of you, this may be Six of Swords putting you in alignment with that. Putting you in direction for that. All right, and you're leaving a storm behind. So again, congratulations. Ace of Wands here, opportunity to create. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Why is this Ace of Wands here? Yeah, so two of swords here. I feel like there was a blockage to this, but eight of wands, that's nine of wands. Someone's overcome the blockage. Someone is focused on moving forward. Their perspective has changed. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, somebody's perspective has changed. And I've definitely seen this in the Pisces reading. So some of you guys can be dealing with the Pisces. But someone's perspective is changing. Ace of wands. How's this ace of wands here? We got justice, three of cups. So someone... I feel like someone knows what's right for them, what's in alignment with their happiness. Hey, man, again, someone's perspective has changed. Someone has clarity. Someone know what is this? So three of swords here, three of pentacles, shit, me, two of cups. Someone severed a connection and is in alignment with really moving up. Yep, queen of pentacles here. So someone knows what's going to make them happy. Could be, could be queen of pentacles here. Someone knows what's going to make them happy. Someone knows what's going to make them happy, period. Some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign or someone could be looking at a situation sensibly, wanting to nurture a situation. Period. Pull. All right. So let's see what guidance we have moving forward. What guidance do we have? All right. We got promise of the future. All right. We have inner knowing. And we have embraced. So some of you guys are embracing uh, a, 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 like you know what's going to happen. Okay, so for some of you guys, you've manifested this. Um, you knew this was going to happen. This is a part of your manifestation. Someone's coming. Someone's escaping a situation. Seeing what was a blockage to them. You just f embrace this, this fulfillment of the future. Even if it does not seem that it's in motion, it is. Okay? This is all that I have. Until next time.